Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to configure e-bonding spoke and how out of the box e-bonding spoke work. I'm going to create two more videos where I'm going to show you how to extend the e-bonding spoke to accommodate some additional fields uh, into it and how we can also e-bond the attachments that will be the third video uh, where I will show you how you can also send attachment between two between two instances. So let's start with the first case where I'm going to show you the connection and how out of the box these three actions in e-bonding spoke work. When I say three actions, it is create remote incident, look up remote incident and update remote incidents. The scenario is I have two instance. One is in light green color and then the another one is like this in a dark green color, which is my this is my destination environment and this is my source environment. So first I'm going to show you how to set up the connection between these two instances. What you have to do is you have to go to flow designer, then you have to go to the home page of flow designers. Then here you have connections. Now this step, which I am showing you, you have to do this in both the instances, source as well as destination, because you need to authenticate between both the instances, vice versa. If you click on this tile, service now, underscore e bonding underscore AH, here you can configure, uh, you will see configure button uh, if you have not configured anything, but now I have configured everything. So I see edit button. Once I click on this, you will see I have given credentials. I have created one connection where I have given credentials, which is basic authentication at the moment. And this is my instance URL. The minimum requirement for this basic authentication user is it should have ITIL access in the source and in the destination environment, which is this uh, instance. Same step, you have to do it in the destination environment. So this is my destination environment where I have this flow. Uh, home page you can see here connections I have set up this is my destination environment where I have set up the basic auth credential you can also use OAuth credentials if you want to once you have set up these two uh, connections or, or you have pointed or you have a connection established between two instances you can actually start using out-of-the-box e-bonding spoke now what I'm going to show you is let's start with e-bonding with OB action create incident flow, which I have created. These two are the out of the box actions which are available from service now. Now, if I click on this icon, you can see this is a set of fields which is transferred from one instance to another instance. If I click on lookup remote incident icon, this is a set of fields which is read or, or which we get from the remote incident into the source incident. So basically, this is a post call which will create the incident from one instance to another instance. Lookup remote incident is a gate call which will read the details of an incident from remote environment into the, dist into the source environment. We are going to see this, how it works. What I have done is, I, have, I, have, I will be creating an incident from my this environment, light green environment into a dark green environment, which is my destination. And then I'm going to update the incident into this environment, which is my destination, for example. And then I will show you how whatever updates I'm doing in this environment, how those, those are transferred to the source environment using the update remote incident action. Now this update uh, in update remote incident action, it also supports same set of fields which is supported by create incident and lookup incident action. So let's get started with the demo. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the destination environment. This is now my uh, destination environment. Here what I'm going to do is click on test, create an incident, Please remember the number 10010 because this will be used as a correlation ID in the destination environment. Sneak peek into e bonding flows and actions. 
contact type let's say phone state let's keep new this should be moderate and group let's give as software for example and submit once we submit i need to run the test i'm running the test now let's wait for it to process now it is completed you can see the status is completed now before going into these two uh, logs i am or or the progress uh, uh, before i show you the progress here i need to show i need to go to the destination environment i'm going to click all and as i said keep the number in mind it is 10010 you can see it is used as correlation id which means the incident is successfully created from the source environment into the remote instance which is a destination environment so you can see all the details are pro properly passed like description is there category is there the caller is also passed properly the contact type the priority and the assignment group now before i show you the update mechanism i would like to show you the lookup remote incident action you can see first i will show you create remote incident here you can see this is the incident number from the destination environment or the remote instance which is updated into correlation id field of this particular or the local incident you can say in the source environment if you want to see this i can show you i can click here open it you can see the correlation id field is properly updated let's go back now in the lookup remote incident you can see it only accepts remote incident number now this remote incident number is nothing but a number from the destination environment because we need to pass this so that we can read the details of this particular incident so when we pass this it is going it is bringing all the details of that particular incident now this is a gate call it is getting the details of the particular incident I have combined these two action uh, two actions in one flow just to give you a demo but you can always use those individually now let's go back to the destination environment which is my dark green color environment here i have configured a flow where the condition is whenever the state changes correlation id is not empty and the updated by is not the integration user which i'm using and then it will send the fields to the incident from where uh, or to in this case this will be this will be the source environment and then the destination will be the light green environment where we need to actually commit the changes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a subcategory here like this i'm going to say in progress and i'm going to add change the priority to moderate and then add test ding and then i'm going to save this as soon as i save this the changes will be transferred let's go to the destination environment incident so i'm going to say incident open this was the one which we created here now you can see assign to is properly given the subcategory which we changed is properly updated state is changed to in progress and the priority is also changed to high and here you can see what things we have changed so this is how in short out of the box e bonding spoke work now the most important part which we should know is if i go to re create remote incident uh, out of the box action here you can see the connection lens is used which we configured in the first step right and another part is you can see here for example remote uh, update remote incident you can see there are no comments no work notes accommodated here so they are not getting e bonded between two instances so in my next video i'm going to show you how you can extend this actions to accommodate few extra fields I, I i will be showing you how can how can we transfer the comments and the work notes from one environment to another and vice versa and in the third video again i'm going to show you how you can transfer the attachments so please don't forget to subscribe and watch uh, my next videos. Thanks for watching this video.